Okay, ladies and gents, uh, today I'm going to go over the uh, takedown, the cleaning, lubricant, lubricating, and the uh, reassembling of the Beretta 96 uh, Inox uh, 40 caliber. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure the weapon is empty. Um, basically, automatically locks uh, back the slide. Uh, we can release the magazine with the magazine release. Put that off to the side. Uh, nice thing about this gun when I got it was it already had the stainless steel uh, trigger as well as the uh, stainless uh, magazine release. Uh, the only thing I ended up uh, doing was getting the uh, stainless steel uh, guide rod. So taking off the uh, uh, slide uh, we'll do that by just, uh, so the way that the way that I like to do it is uh, take down the slide release again. You saw me uh, do that by pushing the button on the right right side of the uh, the gun, and then uh, you bring this lever down on the uh, left side, and then you just basically take the uh, slide lock and let the slide come forward and that um, releases the uh, the slide put the frame off to the the side for now and we again we have the uh, stainless steel guide rod take that off put that over here on the side so when I do this I typically like to uh, listen to music so um, but won't won't do that due to uh, YouTube's uh, restrictions on uh, copywriting. So I've had about I'd say about 400 rounds uh, through this gun so far. Uh, I've been told you can go between about 500 rounds uh, in between uh, in in between cleanings. But I just wanted to to see what uh, the gun looked like uh, after 400 rounds, as well as the. Uh, we're going to take a look at the extractor and see how that looks. Uh, last time I cleaned the gun, I did did remove the extractor and clean that, clean that up. So we can see there's a little residue here and there, and we'll get that cleaned up with the um, with the barrel. We'll, we'll clean the inside of the barrel. We'll go over that here shortly. And again, like I said earlier, uh, the guide, uh, sorry, the uh, the extractor will uh, remove that. It is a uh, one-way pin, so we actually have to um, use this punch set. Um, want to want to thank uh, Derek Pierce. Uh, shout out to Derek Pierce. Uh, he had suggested uh, a punch set at uh, Home Depot. I ended up picking these these guys up for about four bucks. Uh, feel free to go and check those out. Uh, the other majority of the cleaning uh, material was purchased off of Amazon. Uh, well, used for the the basic cleaning is the uh, Tetra uh, gun degreaser. Um, then for the barrel, use the uh, Gun Slick Pro, and then oil and lube using the uh, M Pro Seven. And then lubricant, uh, we'll just use the uh, typical ballastol that uh, a lot of you guys are familiar with. And then also the uh, Tetra gun grease um, I'll use for the, uh, the slide, uh, putting it back uh, onto the frame. So let's get to this, uh, this grody cleaning here. Punched, picked up a bunch of these uh, picks off of, uh, again, Amazon for a few bucks. Uh, reasonable. Um, highly recommend it. Check it out. Start off with the slide here. Um, with the slide, I like to use uh, just your typical paper towel, cut them up, little squares, 
and then just get into the grooves. This is the, uh, the fun part of the cleaning process. Takes a lot of um, patience. You can see there's quite a bit of residue coming off, so that's good. So I did also. Um, I didn't didn't video it, but uh, room, removed the the safety last time I uh, cleaned the uh, the weapon. That was a fun experience. I should uh, record a video doing that as well. I also plan on posting a, a video soon of just the basic field strip. And then also the uh, the trigger pull on this on this gun. Um, I've been practicing more and more on the the follow through, the trigger pull. I actually, uh, post up a video here shortly. I was at the uh, the range with a buddy of mine. It was uh, last week, and put a good 200 rounds through the gun. And just again focusing on the the trigger, trigger pull, trigger release, all that jazz. Okay, so the extractor. Um, this is something I wanted to see personally myself. See what the condition was relative to, or the condition now relative to um, the time I cleaned it last. So let's go ahead and punch this guy out. So you, you want to make sure that you have pressure on the, the extractor. So there is a spring, it is spring loaded. So that's not that bad relative to last time I cleaned it. Uh, you can see the uh, the other video I have. Try to get trying to get the camera to focus here. But uh, I'll post post the link to the other video of when I uh, last took the took the extractor off. But this um, this is nothing uh, compared to what, compared to what it was before. So let's just clean this up real quick. So I've been working on, like I was mentioning, I've been working on the trigger pull and uh, follow through. Um, I've found that I've uh, become accustomed to the to the gun, like the way it like the way it uh, fires. Um, let's see here. There's the little spring from the extractor. 
Again, I don't plan on doing a full full on takedown. This is just a more of a field strip extractor uh, takedown. <laughs> And really just wanted to see what this looked like the few hundred yard a uh, few hundred uh, rounds through it sorry guys I was thinking about golf just there for a second So, got the extractor out, let's do the uh, barrel real quick. So what I first like to do is take the, uh, the Tetra gun degreaser Go around the barrel a little bit, remove the the primary stuff, gunk, I like to call it gunk residue. And I'll take the um, foamer, bore cleaner. Just sit for a bit. Just got that coming out the other end there. Okay, so let's take a look at this frame. Uh, looks doesn't look that bad. Again, I would say that I could have could have gotten another 100, 200 rounds through this. This doesn't look that bad, but I do like a clean gun, so clean it anyways. So these grips are, if anybody was wondering, they're the Hogue uh, Mono Wraparound Grips. Um, highly recommend it. Has these nice finger grooves, so you can get a nice mono grip. Just getting all those little nooks and crannies. Last time I cleaned the gun, I did have the uh, the grips off. 
made it a little easier to get into the uh, magazine area. So this uh, magazine release uh, button is it is on one side, um, but it is very easy to switch over to the other side. So if you are uh, left-handed, or if you just prefer the the uh, mag release on the the right side, that looks pretty good to me. So let's check that barrel out. So barrel looks pretty clean actually. Let's do a few sweeps through here. frame, slide over to the side, just clean up the uh, guide rod here a bit, doesn't really need it. It's nice to see that it's actually getting some wear. So, so far had about a thousand rounds to the gun, give or take a few hundred. Okay, so seeing that the extractor does get quite a bit of action, I will put a little bit of gun oil in the area there. Just clean up the firing pin a little bit.
So again, just a little bit of gun oil here, just a tad bit. Again, this is spring loaded. And as you can see, there's the little hole for the pin. So we're matching that up with the other hole in the slide. As I mentioned earlier, again, the pin is a one-way pin. So the larger end is on top. So we'll just push that back in. Wipe that down a little bit. And what I like to do is take the little bit of the oil, get a little dab next to the the safety. It just makes it easier to release the safety. I like to work the oil in. that and we'll stick the barrel back in so let's actually take the tetra gun grease and Put a few dabs on frame, not too much, that was a little bit too much, but let's go with it, there and there. I like to get uh, either ends of the frame um, so I know there's full coverage on the on the slide. I'll also dab up the uh, slide here a bit. Again, not too much. Just like that. And get the guide rod. It's actually uh, clean that spring real quick. So for this, I'll just take paper towel, stick the spring in, so if you guys saw that, I basically took the piece of paper towel, stuck it within the spring, I'm just spinning the, the spring around the paper towel and we have a clean, clean spring. Assemble. And there you have it, folks. That was the uh, takedown, cleaning, lubricating reassembly 
of the Beretta 96 Inox 40 caliber. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.